a Gemini. It's a Mommy Got Tarot, and this is your someone is secretly stalking you. Tarot card reading. Let's have a look, Gemini. Man's out there stalking you. Woman's out there stalking, stalking you. And stalking doesn't have to be that weird, creepy, creepy, super creepy kind. It could be just they're looking into you, they're checking on you, they're seeing what's going on. So let's have a look and see what's going on with that. So page of wands in reverse neat neat real cool oh you can't see okay and the hierophant hey this this, looks, uh, this isn't too much floral getting in the way here All right the hierophant in reverse oh my goodness i'm so embarrassed boom boom right there dim light i got you and finally, the Four of Cups in reverse. All these cards in reverse. Why? Why are you doing? Why, why are you doing that? Some of you guys are backed up. Some of you guys are constipated. Oh. Okay. Let me move this whole arrangement because this is just. It's not. It's not. It's not cooperating. Oh. Pretty card though. So. <laughs> okay. So someone is secretly stalking you, and these show up we see somebody who's out there shooting their shot we see it an attempt to shoot their shot but in an awkward way and not necessarily committal way either the hierophant is here giving us the taurus energy taurus vibes are usually committal this person there's a catch to it it's either hey i just met you marry me that's weird you're showing some committal but not the same kind of committal and Page of Wands is giving us the fire, the energy to do it, but maybe just being a little lazy in, in approach, illogical, irrational. There's something about this person that's just like, hey, relax. All right? We have the Four of Cups, this person. It doesn't give that this person is not in La La Land, like Delulu Land, which, again, I guess you're supposed to be in order to manifest things according to, tic to TikTok. But, you know... We're talking about stalking. So this person going out there, shooting their shot, going out there, throwing some, a shot in the dark, looking for that commitment, that's what the undertone of their energy. They want something serious, but they're, they want to see, maybe they just want to put the toe in the water first. Maybe they just want to see what's all going on with you. Before I start wishing my life away, making big plans for us, let me see if you're single. No, because this person's been waiting out what potentially could be your relationship, one of your relationships, and they may have lost, you know, the lost track of where you're at with that. Some of you guys are like, what, with Tommy? We bowed up six years ago. Hey, your stalker doesn't know that yet. Not doing the greatest stalking job, but I feel like as a whole, it just feels like somebody who's like, has, they may not have put their whole, their life on hold, but it's like somebody who's been waiting to shoot their shot. They got that stubborn Taurus energy, which means you likely know that they're interested or they've been interested for a long time. The Page of Wands, it means they're very like in the early stages of it. So they're like maybe un... What is it? What's the word I'm looking for? Tip of the tongue, tip of the tongue. They're, they're cautious because they're inexperienced is what I'm trying to say. But there's a word for it. Like uh, They're un... inexperienced i don't know but they're just like not completely ready whereas they're they're wanting to be ready there's this desire for stability we see the four we see the hierophant it's supposed to represent stability and 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 in the home and just you know regular routining but it just feels like launching that shot is the first step to that and i think there's some sort of delay to that they don't know what's going on with you completely maybe there's a missing bit of information that they need or maybe they don't need to have that missing bit of information, depending on how you feel about them. So let's have a look at the sprint and see what's really, really going on. Ooh, 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 ooh. Rooted in a place of anxiety, I don't like it. The energy comes from a place of sadness, loss, anxiety, stress. And then we go, over, so that's the Nine of Swords. Then we go to the Page of Swords, which represents gossip, drama, and communicating salacious themes. Like somebody who's just, you know, they're adding the extras. They're like, oh yeah, and I heard that. They got B.O. I heard they I heard, I heard they smelled really fishy that day. Like, you know, they're saying stuff that's out of pocket. 
in addition to whatever it is going on. I feel like this person has some weird, there's a mental here that is, you're stressed out, so your perception of things, you're gonna have a very like, wavy perception of things. And then to add the drama and the gossip and the rumors on top of it, it might stress you out even further. It feels like the stalkers might be hearing a bunch of stuff or this person might be stressing you out. Two of cups, this could be an ex, somebody you broke up with or somebody that you disconnected, you consciously disconnected from. We have the two of cups. What was once a good connection or a stable connection has become something that there's some sort of disconnect from because of, I guess, these rumors, gossip, and some gossip and rumors are, I, I mean, at least somebody feels anxious about doing that. You know, if they spread a rumor about you, if they said some stuff that you're like, hey, I don't like that, you're done. And they feel really bad. They feel really anxious about it. We have the judgment card. We already know. We already know the judgment feelings were in the mix. And so then we have the Knight of Wands as well. Yeah, it's giving somebody that has stressed you out in the past. Somebody that has just done something gossipy, drama related. And you're just like, no, we're disconnecting. I'm taking a step back. I don't know if it's a full blown, I hate you disconnect because we don't see any tower energy. We don't see too much wand energy with the rage. Um, we do see the King of Wands, but I feel like it's more of a manipulation tactic to give the silent treatment in this instance. I feel like either you or they have shut, no, I feel like it's more like you have shut this person out and they really feel guilty or they feel sad or anxious about it. They still dream about you. They still think about you. It's still on their mind. And if it's a Taurus, they're probably very stubborn. If they're giving Taurus energy and they're not a Taurus, they're probably very stubborn with that anxiety, probably resentful that they have the anxiety and wanting to work through that before you know, and then possibly with this page of swords, um, they may be kind of communicating that, you know, the, the, the petty stuff of it, like, and they have stupid glasses or like leaving out details that make them look bad. Uh, so you have to, you don't really have to watch that. Whatever their process is, is what their process is. We should have known they were going through a process when we saw the four of cups, learning that this person's kind of holding still as far as the maturity. It's kind of holding still emotionally, feeling a little bored. So when you're feeling a little bored, you're doing a little too much. And I feel like verbally this person is choosing to use their intellect in order to manipulate or to uh, kind of sway things. But it's all a, filter, a, a filtration of like, I'm an anxious soul, I'm an anxious being, all right? And this could also be something that you attract because you are an air sign. So the swords are connected to the air signs and communication and technique and strategy and scam, well, manipulation tactics, like verbal Jedi tricks, those mental Jedi tricks, I feel like are involved here. So some of you guys know this person is looking into your keeping tabs or, you know, cause it went down and you consciously decided to stop talking to them or disconnect from them. And there was that disconnect was it feels like it's a lopsided disconnect like either it's you feeling this way about them because of what they said or you know and then that's a judgment it feels like a little bit of like a jump jump to conclusions kind of thing um but the knight of wands here is like well i'm taking that action strategically deliberately and possibly manipulating manipulating um so it could be you maybe milking their anxiousness or milking that they're you know, you're upset with them and they're like, oh man, I'm sorry. And like, I need time. And then like, you're just kind of going hmm, around them or like, you know, maybe being a little extra, maybe even your indifference might feel like a slight to them. Uh, Cause in the way that they can just let, let go of the connection and then that's it. Cause this person's going through the motions about it. Drama, rumors, gossip. This person's still talking about you. This person's still thinking about it. It's still weighing heavily on them. And the disconnect is something that, I mean, it, it's a two of cups, so it's in reverse, but it could be upright with a little more effort. So we have to consider that this connection does matter to this person. And with the Hierophant there hovering above, I feel like it's like a commitment that they, like, they feel like a long-term-ish connection to you. So maybe they check in on you. They try to see what's going, what's all going on, the latest tea, the latest gossip on you. Because they care to some degree. Of course, maybe they're a little bit of a drama king, queen, or they're just too up in a in a, your business. Um, I feel like maybe you'll come to that, some conclusion about who they are fundamentally so that you're not offended by the things that they do. Like, And I don't mean like, just take on the evil. Maybe what you learn from them it helps you grow as a person because you realize they're not being malicious. Maybe you realize something about them that enlightens you judgment card is supposed to give you that aha moment about people and it doesn't feel like this person's coming from a place of malice you know a little gossipy a little of the drama this is like when you have a friend that's all into like the drama and the gossip and you love it because you're now i have somebody to talk to you but then then you get all paranoid and worried about them and maybe even judge them harsher 
because you're like, oh, they know what they're doing. But at the same time, maybe their motive for loving drama and gossip and that stuff is because they're, they're feeble, they're weak. They have, the social cues are not as good. So they accidentally offended you, but they're not diabolical like that. But, you know, you learn a powerful lesson that people, you know, et cetera, whatever the lesson is. You know, judgment card is supposed to be about life and death and the afterlife. So it's bigger themes, it's big transformational themes, personal transformation. And I feel like the connection with them and the way that you see them and the actions that they take make you think differently about their type. So Taurus is like, oh, I thought they were really stubborn. They're just really shy and intense. And I can get down with that. Cause that's, that's, that's Scorpio energy right there. Um, ju with the judgment card being associated with Pluto. That's Scor Scorpio, and Scorpio, deep intense energy right there. Um, yes, the Knight of Wands being in reverse means there's some action coming. Obviously some action, some motion, but it's in reverse. So it's like something about those actions. Again, I feel like the aha moments come from some actions that are like maybe seeming a manipulative or maybe not as manipulative as you thought they were. And like, but anyways, the experience is kind of like enlightening. You know when you think somebody has bad, bad intentions and look, oh, they did this. Oh, they did that. Oh, they did this. Oh, they, they did that. And you're like going with your gut, but then you realize it's because you would do that or your paranoia is making you think that they would do something like that. And you painting all these negative things that they would do when they haven't done it. It's not necessarily fair or righteous, you know? Because anybody could just, oh, she seems like a very paranoid person. And, so, and then just keep saying that over and over to people. And then when you react, you sound paranoid. It's like, you can't win. So anyone could just say stuff about you. But this person, I feel like they have a deep connection to you. And there's an ulterior motive that is enlightening about why they are looking into you, stalking you. Do they love you? It feels like an ex. It feels like somebody that you've disconnected with. It could be a relationship at, uh like a, a family relationship, a business relationship as well. But I want to lean more towards like a partnership because of the hierophant and the commitment and the lack thereof of like it being in reverse. So yeah, it's Taurus, could be a Taurus, could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, could be a Scorpio. All right, so that's your reading. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and if you'd like your own personal reading, check out the description. There's a link to my website, and bye bye